video on how to collect seven slimy new pets in Nazjuta. So you can see there's a ravenous slime here. He's pretty important in terms of collecting one. So first off, I just want to show you what the achievement is. You can see on the achievements list down here from the belly of the jelly, obtain a slimy companion pet in Nazjuta. And then when you open up your pet journal, and if you type in slimy, you'll see the seven pets, which all come from the slimy cocoon. So around here, pretty early on on the PUTR, there was a quest item to pick up. It was called a strange discovery. Uh, basically, you had to turn in this crystal to the NPC in your quest hub area. So for Horde, that's new home, and you get rewarded with this prismatic crystal. So prismatic crystals are pretty easy to come by in the zone. Uh, if you go to any of the water areas, like the rivers and things, you'll see them just lying around the riverbeds and sitting on rocks and things like that. So they're pretty easy to accumulate. You will need a number of these to actually collect a slimy cocoon though so all you have to do is come back to this spot and target <laughs> target one of these guys use the crystal on him he will basically become your little friend and then you run it towards the slime and he eats it so I've done this um, for five days. This is actually the sixth day. And you can see he's just turned into a slimy cocoon, which should have one of the pets. Slimy Fangtooth. Excellent. Where did he go? There he is. And that nets you the achievement, as you can see. So let me just get him out. Selected, summon. So at this stage, I don't know how many breeds they come in. I'm guessing it could have multiple breeds. Not sure at this stage, but these pets are cageable. So if you don't have any luck collecting one, then just check the auction house. Or maybe a friend who's not really into pets and helping you collect them. Let's see, one of, oh, one of these bubble pets. I wonder if they're all in bubbles. Probably not. They're not all aquatic. Actually, most of them are aquatic, except for that one. Oh, that's one of those deep sea murloc things. Okay. So before I go, quick shout out to Pat Ford on Twitter who first alerted me to how you actually collect these guys. Um, but yeah, hopefully that helps. And as usual, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, I'd love if you'd subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications if you're looking to see whenever I post new stuff. So until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next video.